So how many of you played with PowerPoint before? Have you guys played with PowerPoint? So you're familiar kind of with it? Yeah, and you're, you're familiar with slides. So there's not going to be a lot of like, yeah, like, like differences in Google Slides in this, but there's also a lot of familiarity from Word that goes into this. So I'm not going to give you like every day. We're not going to do like a little project. I'm going to give you like little things to do because you're going to know most of it. We'll fine tune. I'm going to get you rolling today, and then next time I'm not going to be here, so you're just going to work next time. And then we'll fine tune it the day I get back. And so when I'm back, we'll, I'll give you some like extra tips and tricks and stuff, and we'll add to it and finish it up. Me too. See how much you get done today. Um, PowerPoint's something that you could say, oh, I don't know, it's harder to get home, though. Well, you're going to have plenty of time, see what you can get done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But hopefully you don't, because we're going to have some time to do it. We'll play it by ear. Not worried about it. Okay, so let me just show you just a few things real quick. Uh, maybe some things that you didn't know about, and then I'm just going to let you loose to start editing. The project that you're going to create, you can have up to nine slides. You want between six and nine slides about you, and they can be whatever you want. So you can do a slide of family, one of friends, one of hobbies, one of vacations, one of goals. I mean, yeah, one of quotes, not 150 of quotes. So you can, you can do whatever you want on those particular slides. Then you can add pictures, you can add video, you can add whatever you want to. Now, I'm kind of a design guy. Because I because I do I teach digital media and, and digital arts and stuff, so I'm not a huge fan of the. It kind of stifles you when you get into PowerPoint. They have the layouts and stuff. I'm going to show you the layouts in a minute. So you're welcome to just start from a blank slate and just create from there. You can do a background or something on it, but I like the. Just be creative with it as you're going um, as you're going through it. Okay, let me show you a couple things. So when once you get into PowerPoint, you just start a new a new. What do they call them? Presentation. Start a new presentation. It's going to open up. So it's going to have tabs just like Word did. You got a lot of the same ones. You got the home tab that has a lot of the same things. It has your font, your paragraph. Drawings is a little bit different. It's, it was on a different tab in Word. Uh, find and replace. So you recognize some of those. If I go to the insert tab, you'll see I've got insert pictures, online pictures. There's a table. There's uh, screenshots. If you want to screenshot shapes. These all sound familiar, right? From what you've done before in Word. You're, you're pretty much just taking a document, but they give you a little more artsy feel to it. Um, under the design tab, you've got, we're, we've got some themes. We'll talk about themes in a little bit, and then we'll get some of the other ones. So let's start with the home tab. You've got your normal slide. You always get a title slide to begin with. This layout, and these are just placeholders. Whenever you see the text, you just click and type. And there's different types of layouts, and if you go under layout right here, you'll see all the different ones. There's nine different ones there. So you can have a title slide. I can have a title and content. So I can put a title on there, and this would just be content that I added to it. So I could do a chart. I could do a table. I could do a video, um, a graphic. There's lots of different things. You don't have to use these. You could actually, well, first you can, you can move them around if you want to move them around. Um, but I can also size them up. So if I wanted to put just some text over here and then add an image over here, I could add an image. If you really don't like it there, you can even just delete it. Just hit your delete key and it goes away. Okay, so that you, you can start from a blank one. In fact, one of the layouts is a blank. So you can just start from blank if you want to. And I'll show you some other things that go along with that layout. Uh, there's two content. That's just like a a title with two different boxes on it. You can do text, whatever, again, in, in those. Now, to do a new slide, you can just hit new slide. You can pick the layout you want. You can duplicate slides uh, and reuse slides. Reuse slides comes from a different presentation if you have them in a different presentation. So if I do like a, a title on content here, then I've got two slides. And if I do a duplicate, or if I do another new slide, if I don't click the drop down, if I just click the new slide button, that gives me another one, but it duplicates whatever you used last. It gives you that same layout. And you could just keep hitting new slide and it'll just keep going down. Okay. Now, when you go into design, you're going to pick a theme. When I pick a theme, you got to kind of be careful because you're not going to always, you just kind of want to look at the backgrounds. And Well, let me show you. So if I go into, let me pick like this blue one for now because it has a lot of changes in it. So like notice how my, my these are all the same, but if I change this, if I go home and change that to a, actually I need to change my layout. Look at the differences in those. So my title slide, it puts my background a little bit different. 
So depending on what your layout is, it's going to determine what your theme looks like. So you got to be careful with those. And it's especially if you want to delete something. And if you look at your layout like this, the title and content is similar to the others. There's a blank. It doesn't have any white in it. And it depends on the theme that you chose, what it's going to look like. Let me go back to my design. And then if you do, like if I select this one, it's going to change all your themes. Now this is kind of cool. Though. If you go to the variants, I like this. You can pick, like if I'm not a big orange fan, I could click the blue and it's going to give me a blue variant. And then if I drop this arrow down, it even gives me more options. Look at all the colors I could choose from. So if I didn't like the blue, I could go into like a red orange and it has some greens into it. I can customize them. I can even go into um, different fonts if I want to change the fonts of that theme. I could do different effects. There's glows and I don't really know what these do. So see if any of them do anything. I didn't see that doing it. It probably depends on what you've got in there for what it's going to do. And then um, background styles you can get into. And then I like this far right one. If you go into format background, you can actually change the background. So like, let's say you wanted to put a picture on the whole background. This, is be, this would be where you want to do this. Right now under the fill, I've got a gradient fill because it's going from like a dark green to a lighter green, kind of that sage color. And there's different gradients you can choose from. So if I wanted to do like a, like to have it come from the top, I could have it come from the top. You can change how much white you want. So you can do a, a lot of stuff with that. You can change how transparent it is with just your gradients. Now this is again under the format background. You can also get to it by right clicking on your, on your slide and getting to format background. But also in here you've got a picture. So I could go to picture or texture fill and then you've got all kinds of textures but I can also add a picture. So if I went into this and I could add a picture to the background and it's going to look different. It didn't go to all of them because I was just formatting that one, that one slide. Okay. And I'd like to, you got to do at least one picture background like this on, on your project. Uh, but it's up to you however many you want to do. And then you could add text. You could add more stuff to this if you wanted to. And that's where you, you didn't want to start maybe with a, a blank under your layout. Start with a blank slide and then you can do whatever you wanted to with that. Okay. Good so far? I'm just throwing a lot of stuff at you. Um, let me show you one more thing, then I'm going to let you loose. If you look at your, well, across the top, you've also got transitions. We can play with these down later. Transitions are how a slide goes from one slide to the next slide. You've probably played with these before. Animations are how things come in. So like if you want a picture to zoom in or to fade in, it's not your slide itself. It's the individual stuff on your slide is how that comes in. Your slideshow is just setting up your slideshow. Uh, one thing I want to show you is down here on the bottom right, you've got different views to look at. The one that you'll use probably the most is the normal view. That's this one. But right next to it is slide sorter. If you click on that, it gives you the whole layout of your slides. And then I can drag these around. So if I want to put them in a different order, I could put this one, um, drag it down here and make it like the third one instead. Or I can put it at the very end. You can do whatever you want with it. You can also even uh, zoom in and zoom out to those two. Come on. You can do it. So I can zoom in or I can zoom out of it too to make them super small. It's being a little temperamental. Okay, you get the idea there. And then this one, the slideshow will actually start your slideshow. You can you can do start your slideshow up here uh, from beginning and there's from current slide and a, an F5 will also start it if you mouse over to say F5. But you've also got down here, this little button here will start from whatever slide you're on. So if you want to see what, what you're looking at and stuff too. Okay? Questions from what I told you so far? This is just going to kind of get you rolling a little bit. Now let me show you, well, you can find the instructions. The instructions are on Canvas. Just work your way down through the top. It doesn't tell you like specifics on like in slide one, put this. In slide three, put this. It's going to be more general. Like in one of your slides, you've got to have a background picture. You've got to have at least three transitions. You've got to have, so it's just things that you've got to add to your, your slides about you. So I would make your slides first, design them, and then go back and, and do like all the transitions and all that kind of stuff as you, as you go. Okay. And have fun with it. I mean, really start to create and think about, we're not going to really present this to everybody. You could share it with friends and family if you want to, uh, but just go through and, and 
you know, pick a, take a slide and do family and a slide with friends and you could do classes or favorites or music or, I mean, sky's the limit. I'm really easy that way. Okay. We good? Questions? Okay. I'll let you loose.